Hey, that's cool. Well, I would say Nas Reed in recognition of Nas Reed and Kyle Anderson. Um, you know, we have very specific rules for specific personnel, and we didn't really follow those. Uh, obviously, we guarded well enough in the first quarter, um, but to give up 38 in the second, and you know, due to a lot of uh, lack of discipline with, with game plan specifics, um, that was a big thing. Um, and I mean, really, Nas Breed broke us down, broke our guards down, broke everybody down. Either got baskets or got shots for guys, and so um, that was a big part of it in the third quarter, um, second quarter. And then Kyle Anderson, um, you know, and how we want to guard guys and help off certain guys, and he really have impacted the game as well. What did you think of Cam's effort second game back? He didn't look super tired. How do you assess his performance tonight? He was solid. He, um, you know, gave us a nice scoring punch when guys were not shooting it well. Um, you know, we had a tough. We we didn't guard specifically well one on one defense, and we weren't scoring, so that's a bad combination, obviously. Um, you know, with that 22-point second quarter, 23-point first quarter, so he gave us a nice punch there. But um, I think across the board, most guys were not on point with specifics and game plan and, and personnel. And so he had his mistakes too. A lot of guys did, but he gave us a nice uh, boost as far as scoring. Having had to push so hard through March and some real close games at the end of that streak, is there some fatigue setting in at this point? I mean, uh, I wouldn't can tell you that specifically. I, I know we are not making shots in a lot of wide open looks that we were making. Uh, you, you feel those, uh, you know, we're five for 22 at halftime and had a ton of wide open looks. And, you know, our the game plan was to play fast, play with pace, um, kind of spread them out, understanding they're going to give up a bunch of threes and, and knock those down. So, you know, sometimes it's as simple as making shots. And if, you know, fatigue this late in the season may be a factor, but I uh, love the looks we got. And if you make those make, I mean, 14 for 48 and make two or three more. It's a completely different ball game. You've said all along that you haven't been talking about the play in race and the standings, but the team you're chasing is the next one you play. Is there some, either, regardless of what it ends up meaning or not meaning, some excitement about taking on that team that you've been trying to catch? I wouldn't say any more than these last few games. Um, you know, we understood the importance of Dallas and Minnesota and, you know, Golden State, Miami, the stretch here. So it, it's not specific to Golden State, obviously. Um, you know, that's the team in front of us. But um, these games were just as important, honestly, in my opinion, uh, to get Dallas, to get Minnesota, to continue to put pressure on the person in front of you. And then it can really mean something. But we have to do our part with this, with the things in front of us first. And um, that's Golden State now. Thank you. Thank you.